Alita Battle Angel, my favorite CGI dominant PG-13 movie ever. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here, and today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Alita Battle Angel. Now, I had seen some really, really good reviews of this movie, but even after seeing those good reviews, it took me a while to actually jump into it. I'm sure I'm gonna be going into the story a little bit with the pros and the cons, so let's just jump right into the pros, and I said it a little bit before, this is just a masterpiece of a CGI dominant movie. It has excellent world building. The main character is pretty much like half CGI, the whole time. I don't know if there's somebody in real life who looks like her. I assume they did some sort of motion capture with a real person because it feels so realistic. I don't know how else to say it. On more than one level, like you have this CGI kind of action going on and even stuff like the Black Panther, I think that was like 2016. There were some CGI errors in that movie and a lot of other movies, when they're trying to do something so CGI, it has to be so perfect. It's so easy to make a little air and make it not look realistic and this movie from beginning to end just absolutely blew me away. Alita pretty much feels like a real person. I've liked characters in the past that were you know computer generated or that were let's say a robot like she's not I guess she's technically a robot but she feels more like a person in this movie but I've never really connected with one like I do in this movie. She has a romance and I felt a lot in the romance you know she has these flashback scenes when she was in war and it's very very, very intense there's like this zero bs like camaraderie action going on it feels like there's nothing held back it's almost a little bit hard to watch at times which is weird for a pg-13 movie because you have all these like grotesque robot monsters with knives there's i think multiple beheadings in this movie sometimes the person is alive and they're able to put him in a new body but i think actual characters got killed off and were beheaded in this movie and on top of that there's also like a, a, a crew of like black market people that go and capture people who have really valuable robot arms and robot pieces and they hold them down and they saw off their robot arms and you see the guy just like yelling and like in so much pain and just and negativity you know so it really does pull on almost every emotion in ways that I didn't think it would. I bought into all the action. It was almost hard to watch in times. It's aggressive. So, I mean, there's literally nothing missing from this movie. For some reason, I want to tell people, if you like R-rated action movies, you would like this movie because it has all the benefits of a normal action movie. They don't hold anything back. It's very intense. It's literally designed to spike your adrenaline and spike your emotions because the scenes are shot so perfectly from Alita to the music to the timing. So yeah, guys, there's just so much that I liked about this movie. I, I love the character of Alita and I'm so happy that they're creating Alita Battle Angel 2. You know, I was actually thinking this was gonna be a one and done. I'm gonna be getting into more of that in my cons, but I'm so happy they're making Alita Battle Angel 2 and I hopefully they, they follow the same path that they did on this one and don't, you know, make her unusually woke or I don't wanna see anything destroyed from this initial movie because I absolutely loved it. The last pro that I had was, I don't want to get into my, my cons just yet, but my, my biggest con is that there was too much left unfinished, too many, too many things that you hear about that you end up never seeing because it's meant for another movie. Although it sets up really hard for another movie, there was enough action, enough story, enough villains here so it felt complete. You know, I recently watched the, the newest Mortal Kombat, I think it was like 2021, and the number one thing I just hated about that movie was all the best stuff was gonna come in the next movie. It's almost like you should show this movie on TV to get me hyped to go see the real Mortal Kombat because you don't, you don't really see that much you know, big fights, big action. And I didn't really feel that with this movie. I felt that there was a good array of villains. She fights multiple robots and like aggressive bounty hunter type robots. And they have like knives for arms. One of them is just huge. He has claws. I just feel like it had a really good array of villains. And there's also some corporate villains here, some villains who don't really fight Alita, but they hire people and they do the will of the main boss. Everybody's on the ground in like a city in shambles and there's this like floating city in the sky the floating city in the sky basically like controls everything down here and makes it really bad and trashy the only way to go up to 
to the place in the sky is to win this like rollerball tournament uh, and there's no other way to get up there apparently there's one main evil villain up there who actually happens to be edward norton you barely even see him like you only see his straight up face and eyes one time and then now that you know it's him there's a couple of glimpses of him throughout the movie but there are some corporate villains who work for this evil mastermind i felt like both of them were good the evil mastermind can also take over some of the corporate villains so like you could be talking to a villain and then the main boss just takes them over and starts talking to you and giving you orders you know what i mean so um i really like the corporate villains as well as the aggressive villains that she has to fight i felt that it was very good very satisfactory and i just love this movie guys great world building super intense action scene spiking my adrenaline multiple times this is just a great action movie period so the only con that i have with this movie i kind of touched on it briefly before and unfortunately this con is pretty solid and it really would pull like a half a point to a full points off of my rating because of how much i wish this wasn't in the movie they set up way too hard for the sequels here they tell you too much things that you know nothing about i think that there was a way to show us just a little tease of what's going to happen without like spoiling everything because because you have this city in the sky you never see anything up there you don't know anything about it like it would have been cool if you saw little tiny glimpses to see like where it's going in the future and then on top of that edward norton is the evil guy at the end and pretty much every time he's talking he's talking through somebody else you have this specific mega villain who's going to be like the villain of the series and you get so little of him like you, i think you see a picture of him like two or three times throughout the movie and then at the very last second he takes off his glasses and smiles looking down it just didn't feel complete enough for a first entry give me a couple minutes of edward norton give me a couple glimpses of what the place in the sky looks like and i probably would have been fine but they just set it up way too hard for a second and a third so anyways guys this movie is pretty much perfect i could really watch it pretty regularly like if i had kids and uh, if they were into this kind of movie i would totally put it on i like the whole message the story the way it makes me feel it's just a great movie overall if i have to rate it i'd probably give it like an 8.5 out of 10 and again if they fix the ending if they made this like a complete ending or at least like a star wars one type ending where it's somewhat complete this could have been honestly perfect like perfect to me is 9.5 and I pretty much would have to put it there because there's nothing wrong with this movie. I love every single aspect of it and it's just a great movie. Buy, try, or pass, I would definitely say buy. I feel like this is perfect. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Alita Battle Angel. I loved it, obviously. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Lita is new here. She's still learning about things.